welcome 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 to my channel welcome to today's video excited to be here and today we're talking about everything matters i really really love this topic i really love especially to look at things from this point of view and we can always look at it from two polarities and then the right one for us is going to be somewhere in between. It will be about finding ourselves our own way definitely because that's what the self-healing journey is always about. Finding what works for you, what's your journey, what's your right, what's your wrong. And I really like to point out the everything matters concept regarding of how we've been taught how we've been brought up we've been probably or you've probably experienced that there were moments where you have been guided towards believing that doesn't matter that has no effect that has no influence and on the opposite that's the only way of doing things that's the only way you can do things. Okay, so one polarity is nothing matters, usually. And the second polarity is that's the only way. Therefore, that matters most. This is usually what growing up or stepping out into your own self, into your adulthood, into your becoming responsible for yourself not necessarily only in being adult you can live your whole life not taking over the responsibility over yourself you can spend the whole life as a victim but this will be let's say the two fields that create that uncomfortableness that tension because once we come across that well if i've been told those are our um basically laws that we adopt from our ancestral line, from our parents, from whoever we've been surrounded by growing up. So those are basically the laws. Those are the pillars of our mind inside our heads. Okay, this is where we originate our thinking and, and our uh, even noticing or deciding between the right or wrong. Okay, so this is what then creates the situations, what then creates the disbalance, the uncomfortableness, and from that originating the tension and the fear, fear, the tension, and then the chronic pain in the body, because we're talking about physical chronic pain here a lot. This is one of my main topics that I talk about here. And now today I'm going to try to explain this from the everything matters or nothing matters point of view. So you've been ba basically taught probably that doesn't matter, that doesn't hurt, that doesn't have an impact on you. That's just avoid that. And unfortunately, a lot of that has been guided towards our feelings, our emotions. Maybe they weren't addressed. Maybe any other aspect of um, apologizing to someone and um, or even saying how you feel and how you um, want things to be. And this then blocks any kind of ourselves communicating out about these matters, whatever you've been taught because you've been taught that that doesn't matter. This goes to self-worth, that goes to self-confidence. If you have been brought up by those that didn't know the principles of self-confidence, of self-worth, which that's completely okay. It's never going to be about blaming someone. It's never going to be about pointing fingers at someone because that gets you exactly nowhere. But that is great to come across this realization. It's great to bring this up to your mind. Okay, I haven't been taught principles of that, but I've been taught so much of other things. So you've always 
as I explained it, you're always starting to realize with the initial package of combinations. And those are perfect combinations of what you've adopted and you have probably made the selection more or less saying this is right and this is wrong, this matters and this doesn't matter. But then experiencing for yourself, you're gonna come across situations that will be questioning, really, that doesn't matter. So why do I feel like this? And then in emotions, for example, it will be bottling up emotions, then uh, feeling a lot of tension, a lot of unease, some outbursts of rage, of um, real uncomfortableness, despair, agony. There will be like huge uh, blowouts because whatever suppressed needs to be released one way or the other. And you're going to be wanting to learn how to maybe avoid those situations for yourself. And there is a way and the way is understanding and understanding yourself, understanding what exactly matters to you and what doesn't. And this can in the practical way, if I um, explain it on examples that are on a daily basis. So it's going to be how you feel throughout the day, what drains you, what uh, gives you energy, where you, the aspects of life, maybe it can be money, it can be relationships, always all of these, all of the aspects of life, uh, it will be projected on if it matters or if it doesn't matter. And you need to really understand that you need to find your way to what matters and what doesn't matter because the everything matters can be an imprisonment in terms of eating, in terms of uh, physical, how we feel because in eating it can lead to an eating disorder or overeating in terms of, well, disorder can be like not eating enough by believing that's not good for me, that's gonna harm me. And obviously if I eat it, it's gonna harm me. Therefore, I'm gonna be avoiding that or the opposite. What's the worst? So I'm gonna eat whatever and I will lose that control of my body telling me what is the best for me. Okay, so wherever we are in a disbalanced form, if I take that one topic of eating and then I'll try to explain this on other topics because I'm seeing I need to specify it a bit more I'm getting the, that download right now so in terms of eating for example like th let's take this as an example so we are gonna be um, the one approach or one this balance can be not eating not being and this connects to not being able to digest digestive problems gut problems we hear this a lot ab about this and it is about actually the information okay we're processing the information we've been taught this is the spectrum of things that are good for you you should eat those or you haven't been taught a different spectrum at all you haven't been guided in that aspect at all that can be another case or that can be another case you've been brought up with sure have this sure have that like eat more whatever the guidance was that's like the initial package and for you to find the new balance you're gonna have to go through trust through allowing yourself and you're gonna be developing back the intuition to what matters for me what makes me feel good what foods are supportive for me and what are those that maybe I don't need in my life but the process of getting there as I often mention in terms of emotions it's gonna be like acknowledging that is the case right now in food for example it's gonna be acknowledging okay I can't eat right now I can't digest for whatever reason the situation brings up stress I can't maybe eat in front of someone else or the other disbalance can be I imagine overeating I have this constant need I have this urge I can't stop 
So those would be the two extremes, but you find your way around those. And in the sense of, okay, everything matters. And I want to redevelop that trust. And I want to redevelop um, my knowing. So we, we talked about knowing and wanting to know. Wanting to know blocks the flow. Knowing is our natural ability. The intuition we're connected to at all times. So we always know what's bad for us uh, and what's good for us in terms of food, for example. We know what is good for us specifically and no one else out there, for example. Okay, this is why we're so unique, why we have a unique point of view on the world, why our bodies are same but different, why we cope on a, on a unique way, why we see the world in a unique way, and this is all and each of ours unique combination, then we may meet across some kind of synchronicities, some kind of alignments. And so regarding food, for example, the finding the way back will be, okay, what can I allow myself to do? And how can I allow that pr trust in rebuilding this knowing, rebuilding that to me, I choose this matters. And this can be in any other aspect because we often talk about, okay, so what is actually good? Because we, we have all of these tools and guides it's good to um, use, you have to use social media because you have to be out there. And then at the same time, oh, it's bad for you because it's constantly triggering you, whatever, whatever. It's taking away your time. It's consuming um, your energy. It's giving you this fake dopamine, etc., etc. And to me or on the self-healing journey, what's most important is seeing that everything matters in your way, in the good way, and the nothing matters in the good way. Because you can't be, whenever you're enslaved by something, this matters. And this is the only way, okay? Um, for example, um, regarding, again, let's bring it back to food. If you eat this, then you're doomed like forever, like fast food. I had this, my own experience with this. Um, I was very strictly like programmed, no sweets, no fast food. Okay, that can work well if that's aligned with you. And you're gonna have to find your good, your this matters, your this doesn't matter. Because whenever you're going to be enslaved by the thought, if I do this, I'm, I'm done. I'm done for it. This is where you add up that tension to yourself. You add up that this is so bad for you. This comes to raising children because you get so many tips on what's good for them, what's bad for them. But you have to parent yourself if you want to heal. You have to relearn if you haven't learned before. You have to relearn to discover what works for you to try and make mistakes and feel bad after eating something because this is your body telling you, okay, maybe not like this, maybe let's adjust it. Okay, and everything matters is such a great topic and you can get towards many levels as you become more sensitive to yourself because on the self-healing journey it's about discovering your natural knowing your natural how you want to live life knowing how in what situations you feel good and you don't feel tension where do you feel tension and why it's about this it's about a lot of self-discovery and this everything matters regarding like we often talk about energies okay everything you're always at the right time and place at the right moment yes but it cannot become in slavery so everything matters what matters to you 
and nothing matters what doesn't matter to you. So what helps to find your way around in the, in the sea of possibilities is gonna be always, always your priority or focus on one topic. So for example, if you focus on the area of food at that time and you can redevelop that trust, the knowing, that intuitive, intuitive knowing, then other aspects of your life are gonna influence, be influenced at the same time. So it doesn't matter if you work on your uh, emotional responsibility, if you work on the relationships with other people, mainly starting with the relationship with yourself or with your relationship with uh, money, with your relationship with food, whatever there is that is your topic at the moment, then you need to find your way of what matters to you, what's important and creating that world of this matters to me, this is important stating the importance, stating the priorities and being able to change them. Because what I often see in applying new habits is like we talk a lot about consistency and we talk about repetition and with affirmation, definitely affirmations, reprogramming your mind and re like changing, transforming your life. You can even become a slave of this you can become and this is the moment where you again creating more tension with your life on the self-healing journey instead of bringing more ease to your life once the I have to do everything right becomes enslavement once the consistency becomes enslavement so for example I decide, okay, I want to change this. I want to change my diet or my intuition towards eating, or I want to change how I, my relationship with my body. So I want to uh, work out or do yoga or reconnect with my body. This is a great, great intention. What we need is to bring ease into implementing new habits so that we acknowledge where we are right now is great. We're fully perfect at that moment for ourselves right now. We're at the right time and place. There's nothing wrong with us. We need to always come back to the present moment and stepping forward on the self-healing journey, we're understanding this from the past has created this tension that I have right now, talking, for example, about physical chronic pain that has created this. Now I become aware of it and now I can adjust what I'm doing, adjust my action with my being. And this is not gonna ever work with some kind of one structure, one consistent schedule. This is why what for example i experienced throughout this journey i've been doing this for maybe over three years now and um what i used to be was a planner a super planner i was really good on willpower well i still am but meaning in a maybe even not healthy way in a self torturing way at, up to that point that it was like whatever I decide I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it no matter what but this is the male energy overpowering the feminine and the truth is you can get faster to where you're going once you harmonize the power which is the male energy and the feminine energy the gentleness the the knowing the um, um there's another word for it which i can't remember right now but the ease and the flow okay and how you're gonna get ahead or forward fastest is by balancing both of these out 
So it's not gonna be just stating a routine, uh, a plan. This is why the plan doesn't work, especially once you're on a self-discovery, on a self-healing journey. This is why you need to adjust what you're doing, therefore what matters at all times. Because maybe you just came here to learn about yourself, to see what works. And whenever we are closing ourselves on one thing, this is the thing I can't change. I can't change my opinion about this. This is unfortunately the stagnation point and this is the tension we create in our body, which then brings unease and then brings the pain. This is why not one solution will work for you. This is why I can't tell you what it is that one thing that will cure your migraines or your chronic uh, physical pain wherever in your body. This is why I'm doing these daily videos to just talk about different aspects of what <laughs> matters or what could resonate with you and doesn't have to. You're gonna find your way across to the video that is aligned with you, that holds that one information maybe that is crucial for you at that moment. But what I'm inviting you to do is really listening even more. And the more we listen, the more we allow ourselves to be where we are right now. And the more we also allow ourselves to change and adjust what we came across. Because as someone experiencing chronic uh, pain and uh, migraines that used to be on a daily basis and have gotten so much more aligned, so much more spiritual at this point, but still definitely present once in a while um, on a, in my life, then I have come across this big, big knowing of the of the clinging onto this matters. This is the only way for me. This is what I need strictly, okay? Or um, trying to implement or force new habits, okay? Like like working out, and this can never work. Not only with the cycle of a woman, which I'm actually gonna be talking about um in the new podcast uh woman talk on my pain relief podcast on spotify uh of the about the things i have learned about the cycle about the femininity so many things that i didn't know could have relation to the pain to that tension and so the the way forward is never gonna be clinging on to what we have known because if you're not living right now happiness in all aspects of your life and alignment in all aspects of your life then there might be a few more things you need to adjust and the adjustment changes the way you feel about it so this is why the planning for example the constant and really i would say strict planning stopped working on this boho free flowy journey for me because trying to push and willpower a new habit isn't gonna implement it faster and isn't gonna actually what what we're what we're often making the mistake in, I would say, is that we're implementing that habit. If I have that habit, then I get that reward. But this is, again, separating from the now. What we really need to do is focus, what is it that's aligned with me today? And what is the best for me today? What is that matters to me today? and adjusting it accordingly and also trusting yourself that the fact that you haven't worked out today or you haven't got your food right today or you haven't felt your best today does not define how you're going to be feeling 
throughout the rest of the month, throughout the rest of the year. Or it doesn't define your success. It doesn't define your worth. It doesn't define your confidence. So it is about finding that unique way for you and allowing yourself to flow with it and change. Change the way you're doing things. And always, because especially moving forward on the self-healing journey, once you get to um, a real stage of relief, you really, in a certain level, you really understand your pain. You're going to understand why it comes back, why it um, repeats itself, what is it connected to. You kind of have an idea about the story, what you're telling yourself in your mind then at that point, it will be crucial for you to move forward, let's say, faster and manifest faster and get to where you want to be faster. Once you understand you're the creator, you're responsible for everything in your reality, you create through yourself, then getting to there faster is gonna be through slowing down and through really zooming in to each little thing of the day and how you're doing things and allowing yourself to change that and to say no to something you have said yes to before or to say yes to something you have said no to before and basically adjusting your new habits, your routines to what now works to you because this is often where the tension just stays there and when the, where the um, unease keeps bringing itself up or, or where the tense situation bringing keep bringing themselves up or where we feel like we're not actually making progress and then we can lead, it can lead to frustration or burnout but the thing is you have always when you realize things you're already changing and you're really changing a lot and the things that you don't see the connections and the synchronicities have a huge impact and what we sometimes don't see is once we're changing we feel we have to go at the same pace and we have to go the same routes because this has worked to get me to here so i have to continue doing that but that's not the case you have gone here using these tools, these routines, using these new habits, using saying no to things of that kind and saying yes to things of that kind. But now you're here, you have already changed. And to allow yourself to get ahead and to move more steps ahead, to tone into the different, different frequencies even faster is gonna understand adjusting again changing things again changing how you're doing things because only changing how you're doing things for however long it might have worked but maybe right now it's not working not aligned anymore and it's again inviting this allowing the flow and allowing to change the things that will give you the new clues on where to go next this is the allowing yourself to miss a day of whatever you have told yourself to do every day and allowing yourself to change something that was clearly working this is actually what's gonna take you the, to the next level to the next step and maybe even faster than you would have imagine because you no longer have the baggage and you need to acknowledge that you are changing at all times you're ever changing and so allowing yourself to see what matters right now that the priorities of you right now are completely different to what they were yesterday or last week or last month this is what then sparks even more the flow this is what fuels you and this is what gives you more 
wind into the movement of yours. This is what sparks you even more and moves you even more forward. Because you see that things that have worked don't resonate anymore. Things that have mattered don't matter anymore. Or things that didn't matter now start to matter. I'm gonna leave it at that. Maybe this was a bit uh, from a different point of view today, but I'm quite okay with it. I think whatever is meant in here for you, you'll find it. And we'll circle back to this topic in a different way for sure another time. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.